Hey, our God is a good God. He's doing some really, I think, special things in people's lives. And uh, it started right here at the beginning of the year. There's some things on Teresa's heart she's been sharing with me. We've been talking and praying about. And so just yeah. just tell us, what, what's on your heart? Well, you know, this week we had that day of uh, prayer and fasting. And yeah. so something I was reading that day, and it was about my times are in your hands. And I, and I went to Psalms 31, 14, and it says, but as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. Mm. My times are in your hand. And sometimes we think about the times of our life and wonder, you know, God, do you have any control over any of this? But he does. It can he seem has, that way sometimes. Yeah, yeah, he has control. And so as we start this Absolutely. new year, that gave me comfort. Like, God, my times are in your hands. And then I, you know, read that very uh, common portion of Scripture, Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding in all your ways. Yes. Acknowledge him. Yeah. He will direct your paths, you know. Mm -hmm. Those are like comforting words. And then I was I moved uh, backwards in Proverbs and read this. Yes, if I cry out to you for discernment and lift my voice for understanding, because I think on that day of like prayer and fasting, that's what we're asking God for this year, discernment, understanding, wisdom. And it says, if I Give lift us direction, up, yeah, insight, yes. Yeah, and, you know, sometimes you not sometimes, all the time. You need the Lord sometimes to just, you know, help you see through the the haze, so to speak. And it says, if I cry for out for discernment and I lift my voice for understanding, if I seek her as silver and search for her as a hidden treasure, then your will then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom yeah. and from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. You store up wisdom for the upright you are the shield to those who walk uprightly you know I, i'm just smiling as you're saying this because this morning i was meeting with several men who were praying mm -hmm. and we were talking this is one yeah. topic of conversation right here how important and how precious and necessary wisdom is yeah. and we're to seek wisdom as is a precious treasure fine gold right. ruby right. silver right. Yeah. how important wisdom is yeah i mean discernment is a little bit of a gift that's our intuition at times and you know after reading god's word you can discern things that's where it comes from but wisdom really does come from god yes right yes i mean you need the you need yes. the lord for wisdom. Our, our human wisdom as the word says yeah. can become such foolishness right and so you really do so I, I just pray that for us as a body that we walk in wisdom discernment understanding and this is a great year ahead and there's some great it things is up ahead there's a few things that i wanted to make note of i wanted to tell you about the carey family the carey family he got his assignment for chaplaincy early so that was a beautiful thing for them yeah so they actually moved back blessing. to illinois mm -hmm. joy's going to go on to texas to be with her family while leo goes on to training so he's going to pray, officers training yeah, school praise god up in up in the northeast actually so mm -hmm. that's their base now illinois that's where they're basing them for a that's, while because that's where he served so mm -hmm. they that's what they had to call that their base so that worked out beautifully so Praise mm -hmm. God for that. The Le you know Leo is going to become a chaplain, and that's his dream, and I that believe is. that's his call as well. Yeah. So that's beautiful. So we have that. That's that. Wanted you to know that. Also, there's so many things coming up on the calendar right now. First of all, we have the men's breakfast. Yes, that's coming up February, Saturday yeah. the 18th. Big men's breakfast. Yeah. And that means you can be an average size man and still come. But big breakfast. I shouldn't <laughs> yeah. say big men's breakfast. Yeah, but yeah. it's for every man who Maybe after to we eat, eat that, we're going to be bacon. bigger than yeah. we were. Yeah. And then we also have a women's event coming up, a spring event coming up in March. So just be on, be aware that things are like starting to come ahead again. And then yep. the kids' club is going to start. There's always stuff going on. Yep. There's always stuff there going is. on. There is. Yeah, Royal Rangers, kids' yeah. club. Mm -hmm. Jonathan and Jen, they're going to uh, be here probably uh, sometime later in the day, Sunday the 20th. 22nd yeah. I just finished talking with uh -huh. him yeah. and this Sunday we'll say goodbye to uh, Pastor Mike he'll still be around some but yeah we, we're we'll gonna have a, a, a long we're not lasting letting connection him go all we, the are. Way. we are because but he'll be part of our district Mike and Rachel's last Sunday yeah. officially with officially us. in their capacity here mm. is is on Sunday so yeah. we love you guys we look forward to seeing you on Sunday and we will see you then amen